In the previous video, we, look, we looked at the Alki 5000 milliamp power bank and gave it a full test under full load, resistive load. I couldn't get the thing apart yesterday, but uh, I spent some time out today and found out that this thing actually does come apart. So yesterday when I tried to get into this uh, Aki battery pack, I didn't have much luck trying to open up the battery and look at the cell. Because, well, I was thinking that this thing here was, you know, popped in, like, like press fit in. I didn't think that maybe it was just simply screwed in, but after working on this thing for a bit, I find that it is just that, it's screwed in. So let's take this thing apart. And I haven't seen this yet. This will be the first time I've been into this. But we unscrew the end and we see a nice big cell and some circuitry. And as I predicted, it's not a 16650, it's a 26650. There's the cell, 5,000 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts. So to you naysayers in the last video that said it can't possibly be because it's not big enough, well, you guys couldn't see the size of it by scale compared to uh, another battery, but I knew it was bigger because, well, it was a lot bigger than my other one. But now we see what's in here. And the beauty of being able to get into this unit now is, well, we can take a look at the actual makeup of the circuit board here and we can put the cell directly onto my little discharge unit and discharge this thing down and see what it can do now i i have fully charged the cell so i can just clip directly on here now and we're going to run the discharge and we're going to see and time lapse it and see how long it actually runs and measure the capacity and see whether it really is 5000 milliamp hours as they claim so let's get with it. Let's take a closer look first here at the construction quality. Maybe I'll bring it in close to the camera so I can take advantage of the macro on the, on the camera lens and you guys can see it. So here's our buck converter. Here's our little coil here. As you can see, this, the, the actual construction quality looks to be very good on here. Soldering looks to be good. We have our protection and charging and discharge circuit on here. So now let's uh, discharge this battery. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to discharge this battery. I'm going to have it shut off when it reaches the, the discharge voltage of 3 volts and I'm gonna set it up to discharge at 2 amps so 2000 milliamps and then this will give me the total amp hours of the cell so I just have to connect the positive and the negative terminals here so here's my positive terminal make sure I'm not gonna clip onto anything that I shouldn't and my negative terminal is over here So now I've connected to the positive and the negative terminal. Okay, got my positive wire connected to the positive terminal on the discharger. We'll connect the negative terminal here. And connect our negative terminal here. And I believe I just pressed that button and that should start the discharge. I seem to be having some difficulty with my little tester here. My little uh, discharge unit appears to be not functioning. It's stopping. Oh, you're not going to believe this. It was the freaking USB cable. This freaking USB cable. As you can see, I've got it discharging at 2 amps. Yeah, unbelievable. The USB cable, the the mini USB cable to my USB adapter that I plugged into here is not working with this unit. Uh, this is going to uh, discharge until it gets to 3 volts. We're discharging at 2 amps. 
and I, I could take this higher I could take this higher than that but I don't want to uh, overload these wires here because these are not very heavy wires at 2 amps these are going to be getting warm in fact they are starting to get a bit warm so I'm going to discharge it at 2 amps and uh, we'll see how long this goes We'll start the we're st we saw you saw when I started this up. I'm going to go to time lapse mode now. This will show us the actual capacity. This should go to 5,000 by the time this whole thing is done. So I'm just going to lock off the camera here, and uh, we're going to monitor the uh, discharge using the appropriate battery discharger. We'll actually measure the cell capacity here in this test. So now we go. For time lapse. As we can see our actual shutdown current on this battery was 4.691 milliamps and that's to take it down to the shutdown uh, voltage of 3 volts had I gone down to 2.9 or 2.8 volts it would have shown more but I pick 3 volts as a good minimum discharge voltage our internal resistance on here is 140 ohms now I don't know what the actual discharge voltage that this goes down to we can certainly find out if I plug in the uh, the, the charge connector and plug it into something such as my cell phone that will show me what percentage of charge is actually still left in here by the colors of the lights okay I've once again reassembled the battery let's just plug in our 12 or let's just plug in our, our charge lead I'll plug it into my phone here and we'll see this should probably go red yes it is which indicates that it is down in charge but it is still actually charging my phone so the battery is not completely dead I just had this shut off when the charge voltage got down to uh, 3 volts so we are not fully discharged but we are discharged enough to give us a good idea that it is going to approach 5,000 milliamp hours so that's it for the teardown of the Alki uh, 5,000 milliamp hour power bank. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put this on charge now and get this one charged up so that I can put it into service. And um, we'll catch you in the next one real soon. And I hope this uh, answers your questions about how much capacity this one actually has. I'm sure that 5,000 milliamps is probably pretty accurate because I don't know what shutdown voltage they use on this unit here. I used uh, 3 volts. I would, if I were to do it again and use 2.9, obviously I would get a, a different reading. But I picked 3 volts as my shutdown voltage for the tester. And we got pretty close to that. We got to what, about 4,700. So we're right in the ballpark. Uh, I was going to try using this thing again I, on the inverter. And I went and grabbed one of my other battery packs and put my uh, my test lead onto here but this for whatever reason I've tried three different uh, power uh, banks including the one that's in this flashlight and when I try to 
run the buck converter through this the buck converter goes into a shutdown so this must overload the buck converter so it looks like this is only going to measure the actual cells but I think in one of the future videos we'll actually re revisit this one and we'll measure the actual capacity of the batteries in this one using this little little unit here anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you again real soon